In this episode, you will learn how to configure Swift testing to enable parallel test. Let's jump directly to the project that we are refactoring with Swift testing. By the way, uh, this has been already the fourth episode. I'm creating a series. If you want to learn more about Swift testing, I will leave the playlist in the description and at the top in a card that you are seeing right now. Okay, how can we configure a parallel test in Swift testing? You don't have to do anything. It's automatically, or it's by default, uh, already working in that way. Of course, that depends, or parallelization depends of the number of cores uh, that you have in your computer. But if you're watching this on 2024 or beyond, I'm pretty sure that you have more than two cores, so you are capable to enable parallelization for your test. Now, keep in mind that um, uh, by default in XE test, the legacy framework, let's call it in that way, uh, the parallelization is optional. So by default, they run one after another. And you need to be careful because probably you have designed your test for some for that configuration running after another. So one test is depending on the previous one. Uh, maybe that's not a deal, but I have seen those kind of projects in the past. So that's why I'm mentioning that. But here, well, again, parallelization in for test in Swift testing is automatically done. And the system will decide how parallel they will run. Okay. However, have you, if you have followed my episodes, you will notice that I uh, created the test in a way of, uh, you know, uh, configuring every single piece individually. For example, car items here. Uh, there are others here, products. But the problem right now that I have is that it's really repetitive. There is a lot of ceremony, parallel plate everywhere, and I would like to remove that. Have you seen now the tests are passing, okay? But using this powerful feature of uh, parallelization, I would like to refactor my test in order to, you know, uh, uh, be uh, simpler and, you know, reusing the same... Uh, Components. For example, if I want to create a list of products, a cart or so, uh, so if testing is capable to create a copy, individual copy, and then run uh, the test in isolation. So that means I'm able to use just one single variable with data for all my tests, and there will not be uh, any interference between one test or another. Okay. So for that, uh, yeah, things like that, for example. Um, where I have uh, cards everywhere. I have the same information with the same value here for uh, my test. Uh, I don't know, I, I know that for some projects this, this shouldn't be ideal or so, but for this demo, yeah, look at that. It's again here, and again the same here, card test. And uh, there are others that are uh, specific. Those are, won't be affected by, by this refactor. And I think this, yeah. Yeah, here we have even more of those products. Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, let's jump here to the top. And what I'm going to do is just copy pasting some placeholder data that I have here. I have a, a, my, those products that you have seen already. I'm gonna hide them here. Um, and I am also using car items with all of the products here. Okay, now I'm going to proceed to remove all the dependencies that we have already for car items because we don't need them because everything will be centralized in this uh, variable. Okay, so okay, let me do this. So we don't need that right now. There we go. And we can double check that this test is passing. There we go, it's passing, no problem. Okay, let's go to the next one. We don't need those products anymore. Oops, uh, yeah, we don't need also this car items here, boom, okay. 
and let's confirm that this test is also oh there we go yeah here we just need a smaller factor instead of using products directly i will use product zero and i will use products two now okay there we go we proceed yeah everything is working well, let's, let's go to the next one again more boilerplate configuration here all right okay everything should work let's test that yep everything is working let's move on for this particular test we don't need uh, anything because just we are touching one product okay this car item is uh, very specific for this test so we don't need to use the centralized one so we're good to go let's move on now this one yeah a lot of folder plate again let's remove everything i love i don't know you but i love when i have to remove gold instead of adding gold <laughs> Okay, everything should work, sorry, should work as expected, let's see. Yeah, excellent. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this is fine because we're just using a product. Okay, and car items local here. There we go. This one also is uh, untouched because we're talking about a non a known product is not part of the uh, uh, common test and let's see this okay I think this one should be the last one that we need here mm. of course this um, refactoring will depend on your project this, this is a demo project so probably in other tests I will do things differently but I just wanted to show you this because um, it's important to review also that you maybe have some uh, gigantic uh, test uh, with all the dependencies isolated from other tests but you can see now that uh, you can share common uh, information and that information won't affect other tests okay let's see let's see what happened here yeah everything is working okay and lastly well i think yeah i think i can refactor this one because it is repeat, uh, uh, repeating two products so yeah maybe we don't need exactly everything but um i think it makes sense just to use one particular products from the array above and this should be one okay let's see if that works uh, okay this is not working let me find that out oh I got it the thing is that this should use the um, uh, it's a specific card item so sorry about that yeah there we go yeah this one is just just in uh, a product a, a new product and yeah we're good so let me rerun everything to see if in fact this refactor is properly working yeah and, and you notice that when something is not working fine um i got an issue so yeah you 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 can be sure that you're not getting false positive or so so look at that now uh we centralize or the the pieces of repetitive data in just this place. I mean, I can find another place, a better place, but here as a global uh, variable in the test file, it's not a problem, uh, problem for me. So we have products and we have car items, the car items configured uh, uh, based on the products that I have here. Then, yeah, we remove everything here. We, we can just concentrate on the car store. We can concentrate in this particular about the result and um, the same for others if we are just using the same data over and over we, we can just make some calculations uh, get quantity and expect something in particular so yeah 
that's the point of, of this video, showing you that you can modify your test using parallelization, um, getting that benefit, and um, improving the reliability of your test. Of course, there are situations where you have thousands of tests that are already running on serial mode, one after another, and, well, what can we do about that? Well, that's what we're going to see in the next episode. Stay tuned. For now, don't forget to leave your job. Don't forget to leave your like, subscribe, because that's the way uh, we can support this channel. That's it for me. Um, remember, my name is Pete, and this, this is Sufan Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.